So I started building a VR game back in December. I took a break off for Christmas, of course, because I got loads of food to eat. And then we got started back on this VR game after Christmas up until today, which is January the 2nd. And I wanted to give you guys an update on what I've actually been doing, where I've been, and basically what I'm building, which is this VR game. So this VR game is called currently titled Ghost Escape VR, or just Ghost Escape. Um, it's basically a game where you traverse different levels and there's multiple different ways you can traverse these levels. Um, well, there will be in the current version, there's still really only one route for each level. There's only four levels in this demo I'm about to show you, but basically it's pretty cool. Um, you've got ghosts. If you any of you see my ghost AI, I've actually stole his 3D model I made and put it into our game. The game looks super rough. Uh, there's nothing special about it so far. Um, but it's bare bones, it's the start of the game, so I want to show you, it, it, I've basically spent two weeks of actual development time on this so far, so there's nothing major in the game, I've just been testing out for different VR things, and there's loads of features I want to add to this in the future, so without further ado, let me give you a quick demo of this game, and then I'm going to talk to you about what I plan to do, and how we're going to improve this game going forward, and about the devlogs I'm going to be building with this as well. So guys, let's get in to the game. Link, Link stuff. Okay guys, so as you can see, this is the in-game. We have some hands, we could do some cool little things with our hands. Um, and that's that's basically it. We have these little trays, uh, right, uh, lines, sorry, when we're aiming at the actual screen. We can jump around, we can bounce off walls with our hands. Do that bit better, boy. Um, yeah, and it's it is it's basically it's little physics based hands. You'll see when we move the hands wobble a little bit uh, Let's hit play and let's just fade into the first level <clears throat> So again, all these levels are just for testing these aren't going to be the actual levels in the game You can see ghost is here. We could sneak up behind him or get caught but let's go catch him out So if we go around this way, you can see that door is locked and when he spots us He will get us. so he gives you a couple of seconds to get out of his line of sight or about a second if you get in his line of sight and you move you can actually dodge him. Also, he, he has a uh, slight vertical line of sight, so you can't see too high up. So levels like this shouldn't affect it too much. You can see he just goes past. Now you can see that door is locked. We can actually just grab this key. We can climb this key if we want. I'll just punch that. We can climb on this key if we want to. Uh, boing. Like, as I said, this game is fully physics based, so you can like throw yourself around. Um, boing, jumped on the key. Um, but yeah, let's just grab this key. So you just grip it um, and then let's check where the ghost is and then we can just walk out and fade through the door. So if you walk through the door, you just fade to the next level for now. Again, it's all just stuff for the demo. Hey, dude. Oh, oh God. So you can see that he saw me, but luckily I got out of last sight too quickly. Now we've got acid around here, which actually looks not too bad. I'll be careful that goes. Let's jump across here. Um, and here we go. We've got enough key. We can fling ourselves on this one. Or we can just grab it, which opens the door. Let's run and jump. And there you go. So just some small little fun things here for now. But these are just the basic starting levels. Okay, so this is something we can climb. Pretty cool. But let's let's move on. Let's have a look around. So Ghost is coming down here. So this hallway here is pretty cool. We can go through here. And that's where the key is. Now, obviously, you wouldn't know that. You'd actually have to look around and find the key. Um, and that key model is just temporary as well. So quick, I whipped up. He's going to turn around. So once you learn the patterns of these ghosts, you can actually like get around really quickly. So now we can climb here by just gripping on, pulling yourself up. Ugh, grab on up here and up here and throw me. I almost fell to my death. And now we have a wall of lasers. Now this is just to show you how this works. Normally these would be hidden somewhere else and you can follow a line to turn it off. Um, but just for this, we can just punch it. We can even headbutt it. Look, boing. Your head but it actually goes in as well um and there we go let's 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 keep going through so we have this over here um the floor is misshaped for some reason that's fine and let's go through our door and here is the final level of this small demo now when i release the demo uh of this game to you guys there hopefully should be some more levels and these levels will be all tweaked and changed um i just want to show off all the things we can currently do in it and that's why these levels are currently as they are so i've got to grab up here and we're just going to be stretching our way across. I normally would be able to do this a lot quicker, but I don't have much room uh, with all my camera equipment out. Uh, so I'm trying not to punch anything. Uh, but here we go. So you can see right here, we can just traverse each level pretty simply. 
Um, again, the graphics are nothing special. You have the prototype texture here, which is just what I download from the internet when I'm prototyping games. Uh, oh, oh, I had a heart attack. I thought I was going to die. Now, we've got to jump onto these balls. Now, I keep dying on this randomly. There we go. And the next one. And let's jump up here. And there we go. Now, the next one is a little higher. So let's... It's a lot harder to grab it when you're sat down. I'm gonna add a seated mode so you can sit down and play this game, but I definitely recommend standing up when you play. So these are like monkey bars. You ever been to a playground? Same thing, except from you don't have to carry your own body weight because it's virtual reality. Unless you want to strap like loads of freaking heavy weights to you and just go swinging or something. I mean, it'd be cool. All right, now we have to jump. No, we fell in the lava. So there you go, or oh, not the lava, the, the acid because I didn't want to just do a typical laugh as I added acid. All right, let's get back over there. Okay, so now we have finally made it to key. I'm not gonna lie, I died two more times trying to get across that, so I'm gonna put you through that torture. I need to make this a bit easier to swing from there to here, because sometimes I ping off backwards, which is not good, not recommended. Uh, but here we go, we've got the final key we can collect, and now we can climb this glorious ladder. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I actually just like grabbing this like side bit so much easier than trying to accurately grab this. Um, and here we go, so we can climb up, 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 and grab on the top here, and up there, and there we go. Ooh, hello. Uh, and now we can just sprint to the finish. Jump, 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 jump. Oh, I slow down. Uh, sprint, 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 and there we go, through here into back to the start of the game. So that's it, pretty bare bones, let's actually talk about this now. What's going on? Okay, so let's talk about the ideas I have for this game and what I want, what we, what I plan to do for this game. Now, a couple of ideas I want to add in is grapple hooks and boss fights. So grappling hooks are freaking awesome. You know, they're pretty cool. Uh, but I don't want it to be something you can use anywhere and everywhere. Obviously, I think there's going to be dedicated areas you can use it in and dedicated zones you can actually grapple onto. Um, otherwise, I think you could just grapple anywhere, throw yourself around, which is cool, but isn't the idea of the game. So we're going to add in some grappling hooks. We'll have to test that, maybe add some different types of physics. Uh, to it and see what we can do. Maybe add some external forces. So if you're grappling hook and there's wind hitting you, you'll go flying. We'll see. You know, there'll be some fun things we can add. Now, actually, I don't want to make anyone sick in VR, but to be honest, if you get motion sick in VR, then you should just, you know, try harder. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, we're also going to be adding, as I said, boss fights. I want to be able to boss fights. Imagine swinging around a grappling hook with a plasma gun, blasting a boss while he's trying to blast you, while you're trying to beat him as quick as possible by hitting objectives to destroy the boss. That's kind of the theme I'm aiming for here, sort of like platformer, uh, traversing levels, adventure, boss fight, fun. I, I'm trying to make a fun VR game. I often, I, oh, it's my first VR game, um, actual VR game anyway, prop off this scale. Um, and yeah, I want to build something big and fun. Uh, I want to add in bounce pads, different types of traps. Obviously, the only traps in there were lasers and acid pits, uh, but I want actual traps, like things that could like a rolling ball coming a bowling ball coming at you or something like that something cool uh some random things cannons uh giant harpoons i don't know loads of different ideas you guys tell me the ideas you have for this game down below and i'll i'll try and incorporate them if you've got any cool quirky ideas um i also want different service types of like ice slippery surfaces stuff like that would make you throw up in vr basically it's gonna just make you throw up i'm gonna have to add a lot of comfortability settings to this ah, it'll be fine you guys could lift we'll see what happens um, and another thing which is kind of on the list, but isn't, is portals. The only reason I say portals, I don't want to do like portal the game, sort of shoot a portal and go through it. I want to just see what it's like going through portals and testing it, maybe even physics based. So we'll see what happens there. I'm not sure how it's going to work. We'll figure it out. Maybe that's not, we, we won't scrap it. We'll scrap that idea potentially, but we'll see. So that's the ideas I have for the game. Now, what I want you guys to do is let me know what you want to see in this game. What sort of art style I should go. Now, I'm tied between going dark and dingy, sort of like turn off all this lighting, boom, in the darkness. I'll turn that back on because that's my camera freaks out. Um, yeah, I want to kind of like, I, I don't know if I go for like a dark dungeony style theme where you have to escape the dungeon, or if we go cartoony, cartoony sort of um, toon shader style, if you get what I mean. So everything's like toon shaded uh, and stuff like that. 
Enough uh, idea I am I like, but I don't want to really copy Paul too much to laboratory style theme. So like imagine being in a white washed lab uh, with different elements you can do, different sort of tech all around you. That's enough for idea. But again, I think you guys should give me some ideas. Drop me some uh, screenshot of, uh, screenshots of ideas you like in the Discord. Links down below if you want to join that, by the way. Um, and yeah, so that's, that's basically what the game is right now. Now, there's a lot that needs to do to it. It's super bad bare bones and there's so much more we can and will add in the future um if you're excited for this don't forget to thumbs up it really does help if you want to support this game then head in my discord and just help me out tell me what you like about it, what you want me to do um and basically just show your support that's all i can ask for right now there's no sort of crowdfunding or anything like that i'm not planning to do any of that right now uh, i'm just having fun enjoying the process of building this vr game um also if you want some tutorials on how to build a vr game in the future um, then let me know. I'm building this in Unity so we could do some some fun things. But for now, guys, I will see you in the metaverse. Peace out. I don't know where I'm looking. I'm not going to lie.